Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with construction planning and scheduling. So the first question, the cost of the project is more than option A 1 lakh, option B 2 lakhs, option C 3 lakhs, option D 4 lakhs. So the correct answer is option A 1 lakh. Next question, railway projects are treated as option A light construction, option B heavy construction, option C industrial construction, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B heavy construction. Next question residential buildings are treated as option A light construction, option B heavy construction, option C industrial construction, option D private construction. So the correct answer is option A light construction because the residential buildings are very easy to construct. Next question, the first stage of the construction is option A, preparation of estimate, option B, survey of site, option C, initiation of proposal, option D, preparation of tender. So in every construction, the first stage is initiation of proposal. After the proposal submission, so we can uh, prepare the estimate, then preparation of tender, then survey the land. So these are all the things uh, happening after the initiation of proposal. So the first stage is initiation of proposal. Next question, a golden rule for the procurement of construction stones suggests option A at the site 67 percentage and 33 percentage under procurement, option B 50 percentage at the site and 50 percentage under procurement, option C 33 percentage at the site and 67 percentage under procurement, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option B 50 percentage at the site and 50 percentage under procurement. Next question, a construction schedule is the prepared after collecting option A number of operations, option B output of labors, option C output of machinery, option D quantity of various items. So the correct answer is option B output of the labor. Next question, military organization is known as option A line organization, option B line and staff organization, option C functional organization, option D none of the above. Basically military organization is the one way communication so that is called line organization. Next question, Frederick W. Taylor introduced a system of working known as option A line organization, option B line and staff organization, option C functional organization, option D effective organization. The correct answer is option C functional organization. Next question, the most popular type of the organization used for the civil engineering construction is option A line organization, option B line and staff organization, option C functional organization, option D effective organization. The correct answer is option A line organization. Next question, Final technical authority of the project lies with option A, Astro Engineer, option B, Executive Engineer, option C, Superintendent Engineer, option D, Chief Engineer. The correct answer is option D, Chief Engineer. Next question, the Executive Engineer may have the powers up to option A, 25,000, option B, 50,000, option C, 1 lakh, option D, 2 lakhs. So the correct answer is option A, 25,000. Next question, the overall in charge of the organization at the site responsible for the execution of work is option A, executive engineer, option B, engineer, option C, junior engineer, option overseer. So the correct answer is option B, engineer. Next question, site order book is used for recording option A, instruction by the executive engineers, option B, construction measurements, option C, issue of the store requirement, Option D, name of the castle labors. So the correct answer is option A, instruction by the executive engineers. Next question, Henry Gann developed a bar chart for planning and scheduling of the project in option A, 1880, option B, 1980, option C, 1920, option D, 1940. So the correct answer is option B, 1900. Next question, various activities of the project are shown on the bar chart by option A vertical lines, option B horizontal lines, option C dots, option D crosses. So the correct answer is option B horizontal line. Next question, milestone chart were invented by the year of option A 1910, option B 1920, option C 1930, option D 1940. So the correct answer is option C 1930. 
Next we see the first method invented for the planning project was option A board chart method, option B milestone chart method, option C critical path method, option D program evaluation review technique. The correct answer is option A board chart method. Next we see the performance of the specific task in CPM is known as option A dummy, option B event, option C activity, option D contract. The correct answer is option C activity. Next question, the artificial activity which indicates that an activity following it cannot be started unless the preceding activity is complete is known as option A even, option B free float, option C dummy, option D constant. The correct answer is option C dummy. Next question, the estimated time required to perform an activity is known as option A even, option B dummy, option C duration, option D float. The correct answer is option C duration. Next question, the difference between the time available to do a job and the time required to do the job is known as option A even, option B float, option C duration, option D constraint. The correct answer is option B float. Next question, the critical activity has option A maximum float, option B minimum float, option C zero float, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option C zero float. Next question, the time by which activity completion time can be delayed without affecting the start of succeeding activity is known as option A duration, option B total float, option C free float, option D inferring float. The correct answer is option C free float. Next question, for completion of project, the critical path of the network presents option A minimum time, option B maximum time, option C maximum cost, option D minimum cost. The correct answer is option B maximum time. Next question, which one of the following represent A1, option A concrete cube, option B fixing of door, option C plastic of wall, option D selecting site. The correct answer is option A concrete cube. Next question, critical path lies along the activity having the total float, option A positive, option B negative, option C zero, option D same. The correct answer is option C zero. Next question, the time which results in the least possible construction cost of activity is known as option A normal time, option B slow time, option C crash time, option D standard time. The correct answer is option B slow time. Next question, the technique for establishing and maintaining the priorities among the various jobs of the project is known as option A, even flow scheduling technique, option B, critical ratio scheduling, option C, slotting technique for scheduling, option D, short interval scheduling. The correct answer is option D, short interval scheduling. Next question, your project has three interdependent critical path A, B, C, the reduce the project length, we have to shorten option A, the activity of A, option B, the activities of B, option C, the activities of C, option D, the activities of A, comma B and C simultaneously. The correct answer is option D, the activities of A, B and C simultaneously. Because in the crashing work, we can uh, Take the activity, the number of repeated activities in the critical path. So the common activity duration will be reduced. Again we will see next video. Thank you.